All right, in the previous video, we made this little simple jam here. Sounds like this. We have three stereo samples that are just being triggered from Euclidean circles, sending these three stereo channels some Euclidean patterns for a kick, a snare, and this, uh, this, this hi-hat here. So we're gonna make a preset now. Okay, so we love this. It's the best drum kit we ever made, so we're gonna save it. <laughs> so you hit save and you give it a name. So you click the encoder and you select the character which you want to change. You just click it again and you can make it whatever you want. So just for quickness here, I'm just going to call it new one. So I'm just going to click past these and I'm just going to call it new one. All right. So then you hold down save for two seconds and it saves it. So now we have this preset called new one. So if you go and load this folder again, you're browsing around and you want to find your, your preset, you go into video series, load folder, and it's going to load the first preset in the folder. So if you have multiple presets, you just use data and just spin this and go to your next presets. There's no more presets, so it's not going to do anything. But um, while we're here, let's just do a quick uh, additional little, little thing here. So if you want to make another preset inside of this folder, click and hold data and just roll it toward the right. So now we're in two, which is empty. So it's showing that it's a preset that hasn't been saved yet, and it's empty, meaning there's no samples that have been assigned to it. So if you roll back, there's new one, there's our preset. So that would be a way you could save as too. Like say that you were in here and you changed hat one to hi-hat three, okay? So you could save, and now instead of calling it new one, I'm just gonna roll to the right, and see it goes to preset two. And just for ease of naming here, we're just gonna call it new two. All right. And then you hold down save. And now I've got two presets in there. Now one really nice thing about a simulator is that you can change the presets without losing any beat. Watch this. So I've changed that hi-hat sample from from preset one so watch this as it's playing i'm going to turn this i'm going to go into new one i'm going to let it go and you see it doesn't lose a beat back to new two press the data in so right there ideas should be going off in your mind <laughs> And this is definitely something I've used in many sets where I would set up presets with different samples and switch them during the set and you get a whole new bunch of sounds. Stay tuned. In the next video, we're going to talk about something I absolutely love doing in a simulator and that's using single cycle waveforms. Okay, we'll see you in the next video.